Hello and welcome again to another weekly health update and um, today we're actually going to be discussing gastric reflux otherwise known as GERD otherwise known as acid reflux. My name is Dr. Matthew and um, I'm very happy to be here so I can share with you some natural tips and treatments that you can do yourself at home very very inexpensive ways to help heal yourself of acid reflux. Now one in ten Americans actually has acid reflux and I'm at Web D, uh, WebMD right now and many other sources say it's a little bit higher on one in every eight Americans but um, the major reason why we have gastric reflux is because many of the sodas that we're drinking the carbonated beverages combined with the overeating of foods combined with um, you know uh, beer and many other things of that nature what that does in many instances the food doesn't get broken down like it should be in the actual stomach or the small intestine and you have a couple conflicting theories about how gastric reflux start but ultimately have to look at the treatment and what works most effectively to really evaluate which ones are, are most plausible but um, um, in my experience and based on uh, most of the credible research gastric reflux most of the time results from lack of hydrochloric acid not too much as the pharmaceutical companies would have you believe many times the reason why now if you take a a, a medication or a pharmaceutical the reason why you get the um, the relief is because what happens normally is that we eat too much food per se and when we eat too much food the stomach does not get digested within the gut ultimately it sits there it putrefies and then it rots so these uh, particular prescription medications what do they do you take them and they inhibit these pumps of the stomach so they get rid of all the acid see we have a little bit of acid even though we, we're still having the reflux but these particular medications many of them get rid of all of the acid so the stomach basically freaks out it says oh my gosh I need more acid so it works really 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 hard and the cells get fatigued but you get more acid within the stomach and that's why you get relief of the symptoms so um, knowing and understanding that most cases of gastric reflux result from lack of hydrochloric acid within the stomach let's go ahead and talk about some natural alternatives that, alternatives that you can do to help that a very very simple way to do um, your first one you can try is apple cider vinegar now this has been around for several hundred years um, and many people have known about this and the reason why it helps is because it's acidic now it may burn a little bit as it goes down the esophagus but you know wait about 30 to 45 seconds and you actually should start noticing relief typically I recommend Bragg's apple cider vinegar you can actually get that in a health food store it's a very pure very organic source of apple cider vinegar and like I said it will help the food get digested within the system and one of the things you want to consider too since here in America people eat too much and it really it's obvious by the amount of overweight people and the obese epidemic we have is that um, you want to make sure you cut down on your portions of food just a little bit and I never ever recommend eating uh, within three hours of going to bed uh, simply because obviously if you eat a lot before you go to bed you lie down that's that sphincter that upper esoph or that um, esophageal sphincter will not close properly and it's really a partial sphincter so it doesn't uh, close like it should normally um, but you want to make sure that you don't lie down directly after eating especially if you're going to bed because that can tend to precipitate it so keep those things in mind another thing that I recommend are digestive enzymes typically the food that we have in uh, America we don't it's most of its not organic so it doesn't have the necessary enzymes and nutrients to readily pass things through the body now a lot of your breads and your pastas the reason why people are constipated most of the time is because these breads and these pastas they don't have per se the enzymes to pass it through the gut whole grains are always better typically um, excluding grains is really the best option or getting sprouted grains which are very very hard to find you can find Ezekiel bread at the store that's actually a sprouted grain that I can think of off the top of my head but what digestive enzymes do is they actually help to break down the food itself and breaking down the food um, is going to obviously help things pass through the system you can absorb things a lot better and you won't have those problems you can take the digestive enzymes maybe one at the beginning of the meal and one maybe 15 minutes or halfway through the meal same with the apple cider vinegar many times you can actually take that about halfway through the meal and that's what I found most effectively for patients of mine um, and, and several other people that uh, I know and many many other experts as well so those are simple tips that you can reduce uh, you can do to reduce gastric reflux um, also if you have any other questions feel free to visit my website it's actually to the right of this particular video and I have a premier health website that offers free nutritional information you can actually go here 
and you can click the register here link and that will allow you to set up a profile that's specifically tailored to you so I can tailor health information regardless if you're looking for natural alternatives we want to be very specific with our approach so you can check and you know, if any conditions that you have or, or things like that or if you're interested in nutrition or fitness go ahead and check these and we'll go ahead and send you the latest updated news on the um, on the health topics alternative health medicine and fitness and um, those of you that are not familiar like I said you can help and treat gastric reflux acid reflux or GERD naturally and you don't have to go to the doctor and spend hundreds of dollars on these medications you can treat it naturally now if your gastric reflux gets to the point of where you get scar tissue now then you might need your office your, your medical doctor they may have to do some surgical procedures because it can result in what's called Barrett's esophagus which is just a chronic scarring of the tissue get like a spider webbed appearance within the esophagus so we want to make sure that we prevent heartburn gastric reflux from getting to that point so if you start to notice symptoms see your doctor immediately but also keep in mind that you can help yourself naturally so go check online utilize some of the tips that I've just shared with you in this particular health update and I'm certain you'll be very pleased and ultimately on your way to a new vibrant lifestyle thank you